Hey everyone, I want to take a moment and show you the different types of operating systems and modes that some of the older calculators and newer calculators have or, or there's differences between them. So if you hit this mode button right here, depending on how old your calculator is, you might have the exact same screen, something sort of similar, something totally different. So let me go through this. If you have the older calculators, you have a screen that looks mostly like this, but you don't even have the option of this next and the down arrow key. If you have medium old calculators, like the one that's on my computer right now that I'm using, it looks like this, and you see this next here, and I can actually scroll down and get to the second screen. And again, for the older calculators, um, the older TI-84s, and then all of the TI-83s, they don't have this option. If you have the newer calculators with the, um, LED backlit um, screens, the like super fancy ones, I don't even have one of those, um, then you have actually a menu, you get all of your options, I believe, on one screen, I think, but I don't know because I don't have that calculator. Um, the two parts of this calculator we're going to focus on are the math print and the classic and whether or not your stat wizards are on. Um, so if you opt for math print, what will happen is if you're taking a more mathy class, like it, let's say I did four fifths. I, I know we know it's the fraction um, 0.8, but, or excuse me, it's definitely the decimal 0.8. But if I hit math frac, what will happen is your calculator, calculator, if you are in math print mode, will write that fraction more like it's a math fraction, right? It's not four and then a dash and then five. You can actually see the math text of four fifths. So that's what math print does versus if I'm in classic mode and I have to scroll all the way back down and change this again if I am in classic mode it won't write fractions for me so if I do four fifths right and I try and change that to a fraction with math frac oops you can see it's just gonna leave it as four fifths so for the newer operating systems some students really like math print so if you have that option, you, it's your choice. Decide if you want to use it. Now, since I'm the teacher and not every student has that, I'm going to default back to classic. I'm going to stay at classic. And then I want to talk about stat wizards. And when you're taking either a stats class or an algebra class that has some stats in it, whether or not you have these stat wizards on or off will make a difference in how your calculator screen looks. Um, now, again, the TI-83s, they don't have these stat wizards. I actually don't even know what wizards are. I, I always envision like there's a little wizard inside your calculator performing magic. But for the TI-83s and the older TI-84s, they don't have these options. So their stat wizards are never on because they don't exist. So I wanna show you what these screens look like with the wizards on. And then I'm gonna permanently change mine to have them off. And you can, turn them off so that your screens will look like mine. Or I've had some students that just prefer to keep them on, and that's fine too. Just be aware that if you keep them on, your screens will not look like my screens, primarily when you're doing one bar stats or any kind of regression. You'll see a pretty big difference as to what our screens look like. So just know that going in. So let me keep them on and I'll show you what one bar stats looks like um, here. So if I hit stat calc, um, one, you can see that that looks different from classic mode. And if you haven't seen classic mode, I'll show it to you in a moment. Here you have to scroll down and then opt in for usually your frequency list is either in L2 or it's just the number one. Oops, let me go turn this into the number one. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it went. Okay. It's just delayed. Hey, okay. Let me go down and hit now, why is it messing around? Frequency list. Maybe you just have to clear this out. Oh, okay. You can see how good I am with stat wizards. I, I always default mine to off, so I never really know. All right. So if I hit enter, okay, great. We got one bar stats. Let me show you what this looks like in classic mode, the one I'm used to. Oh, that was in classic mode. <laughs> okay, I'm on fire today. <laughs> Let me show you what this looks like with the stat wizards off. There you go. Okay, so now when I do this, I hit one bar stats, all I have to do is just type in L1. There is no scrolling down and then hitting calculate. And that's the one I grew up on, so that's the one I'm more used to. Again, if you prefer the other way, then use the other way. That's totally fine. It is the newer operating system. So eventually what I'm showing you will become obsolete. 
Um, and if you're in classic mode, when we go to do linear regression or any of these regressions, we'll typically go down to stat calc 8, wait for it to scroll down. One more, okay. And then you'll see me do L1, comma, L2, comma, Y1. And we haven't gone over this yet in class necessarily, but we're heading there. All right, and you can see that it, it, it pops back out some information. Now, if my stat wizards are on, the interface looks different, and I'll show you what I mean. So let me go turn them on. All right, and now we'll run through this again. Stat calc 8. Well, now it just looks pretty different. So it defaults the L1 and L2. I'll keep my frequency list blank. Learned about that last time. Um, store regression equation. I'll put Y1 in there. So when I head down and hit calculate, oh gosh, you could barely see it. I'll, I'll call it back up. But it does call the same command string that we saw before when we had our stat wizards off. It's just doing it all for you in one calculator screen. So again, just to rehash, it's your call, all right, but here's how I will default my calculator, and this is what you'll see moving forward. You will see my calculator in classic mode, it will have my diagnostics on, and it'll have my stat wizards off. So if you want your screen to match my screen moving forward, set your, your mode to match mine. And if you prefer to stay in math print and you want your stat wizards on, great, go for it. Just be aware that your, your screen will look a little bit different from mine. All right, and if you have any questions, again, shoot me an email, Google it. Um, there's all sorts of YouTube videos that I'm linking, but hopefully that helps a bit. All right, thanks so much. Bye.